you want to get a competitive advantage, something that you can do better than competition. And the three generic types of competitive advantage are cost advantage, differentiation, and niche. And let's start with cost competitive advantage. Having a cost competitive advantage means being the low cost competitor in an industry while maintaining satisfactory profit margins. This is the strategy to go after the more commoditized your industry is, the more difficult it is to truly differentiate. If, if your customers are going to differentiate based on price, well, the only way to be successful is to be the low cost competitor. Now, how can you do that? Where can you get cost reduction? Well, experience curves is a major part of it. Experience curves is, as the name implies, over time, greater and greater experience. The experience curve theory states that costs go down as cumulative production goes up, and that has been proven again and again. Of course, you can also design costs out of the product through product design or lessen costs in the manufacturing process through more efficient labor or re-engineering of the process. But regardless, if you're going to go after a cost strategy, you've decided that hey, we're not able to differentiate, we're in more of a commodity business. But let me go ahead and, and create that distinction between a true, true, true commodity and what we refer to in marketing circles as commodity. True commodity products are products that are completely unchanged from their natural state. And so they are traded on commodity exchanges. These are things like wheat, coffee, cocoa, sugar, frozen orange juice concentrate. Those are so-called soft commodities. And then there's the so-called hard commodities, oil, gold, silver, and so on. Let's use sugar as an example. Sugar as a pure commodity, well, the price of sugar bounces up and down every single day. In fact, here's a, a graph of the commodity futures price quotes for sugar, and you can see that um, in uh, mid-January, uh, it settled at $20.52. And truth be told, I'm not sure what the unit of measure for sugar, commodity sugar is. But you can see that's down um, more than 15% from what it was in early November when it was up above $23. But that's up significantly, you know, more than 10% from what it was in uh, late December when it hit down, hit down at about $18, but the price of sugar, you know, bounces up and down. Well, that's not the sugar that you go and buy in the store. When you go into the store to buy sugar, you're going to buy something like C&H, you know, the four-pound bag, or uh, Great Value, the four-pound bag. Notice how virtually identical these products are. They both come in the exact same type of bag. They're both four pounds. They both note that they're pure sugar on the front. They both note that they're 15 calories per serving, you know, on the front. These are not very differentiated. And of course, many people will go ahead and grab that great value product because that's going to be cheaper than the branded C&H. But for many, many people, yeah, sugar, sugar is sugar. It's, it's a commodity kind of product. There's no real difference. Spreckles, a competitor in the sugar industry, did something kind of interesting a few years ago. As far as I'm concerned, one of the negatives of sugar is that bag right there. That bag can be a little bit difficult to work with. I don't know about you, but I've spilled sugar a number of times, and that's a big pain. So what Spreckles did is they said, well, that's a product shortcoming. The, the package itself can be less than perfect, so let's make it easier to use the package. And they came out with this rigid package. Notice how that's kind of like a milk carton. The rigid sides makes it much, much, much easier to uh, pour and to seal. Uh, notice the graphic up there, easy pour, seal. Uh, m much less likely that you're going to spill sugar. The problem with this product for Spreckles is, well, that's a more expensive package 
than the traditional package. And so they had to raise the price a little bit. And there were lots of people that didn't want to pay more because they really were looking at sugar on a you know price per pound basis. Spreckles tried to differentiate with that package, and it wasn't very, very successful. But that is one type of ways to differentiate. There are a bunch of ways that you can differentiate. Uh, product differentiation uh, competitive advantage exists when a firm provides something that's unique and valuable to buyers. That's the problem with the Spreckles uh, package. Not that many buyers thought that it was that valuable. Now, examples of product differentiators are branding, a strong dealer network, product reliability, it works better, you know, or the image, which goes along with the branding, and so on. Niche advantages are when you just choose to, to focus much more narrowly than competition. So a niche competitive advantage targets, you know, a, a small segment of the market. You know, a, a niche competitive advantage is often used by small companies with limited resources. I worked on two products that were very, very successful products, but they, they operated in kind of a, a niche environment. Steakum sandwich steaks, uh, kind of a unique product line, uh, kind of a unique environment, not a lot of competitors there. David Sunflower Seeds. Uh, when we really started to grow the business back in the late 1980s, David was the only national brand of Sunflower Seeds. Uh, because the business turned out to be so big, uh, several others have come in, but David had a niche competitive advantage for quite a while. Sometimes you're going to have a niche advantage based on geography. You might be in a limited geographic market. Now, that product uh, uh, right there, Skyline Chili, there's a good chance you've never heard of it. And that's probably because you've never been to Cincinnati. Skyline Chili, and that is the skyline of Cincinnati uh, in the logo there. Skyline Chili is as big in Cincinnati, almost as big in Cincinnati as McDonald's is. There are dozens of Skyline Chili restaurants all around Cincinnati. It's a unique geographic uh, product, but they've got a little niche advantage there. Uh, but you want to have a sustainable competitive advantage, something that you can do that can't be copied by the competition. Now, where could that competitive advantage come from? Well, it could come from a patent. That's a great example of a competitive advantage or other intellectual property like copyrights. It could come from technology. You know, it could certainly come from a, a promotion. I would argue that a great example of a product that has a big competitive advantage is the iPhone. The iPhone benefits greatly from their technology. They invented a lot of things in the smartphone business, but now it also benefits from the branding. People just want an iPhone because the iPhone is the cool smartphone to have. How about an example of promotion uh, creating a competitive advantage? Coca-Cola is a great example of that. They have advertised Coke extensively through the years to the point where people really want Coke for the image that it creates. In fact, uh, and this is a classic marketing story, Coke came out with a product called New Coke back in the 1980s. Their market research showed that their customers preferred that flavor to the existing flavor of Coke. And because their customers preferred that, they came out with New Coke. But when their customers had a can in their hand that said New Coke, they didn't want it. Even though they preferred the taste when they didn't know what they were drinking, they wanted the classic taste of Coca-Cola. And that's why Coke brought this back. That's why it's called Coca-Cola Classic, the classic taste of Coca-Cola. That is all part of, you know, the Coke mystique. Well, to create a competitive advantage, you want to differentiate somehow. If you really can't differentiate, if you have to compete more on price, well, then you want to be a, you know, a cost leader. But most companies would rather differentiate than try to compete on price.